So uh, what we have here is we have our first question here, which is select the correct name for the following compound, including the E or Z designation where appropriate. So let me just redraw this compound for us here. So this is question one. We have something that looks like this. Oh, something that looks like this. So we want to we don't we want to know what the correct name of this compound. So what we're going to do first is we're going to follow a normal naming, right? So we have we look at this hydrocarbon here. I want to place emphasis on this double bond here because you can see this is much different than the straight chain alkane. So we're going to start labeling from this way. So we're going to start here one, series two, series three. We would go four or five, but we're going to prioritize the longest chain, right? So this is three. This one would be a four, five, six. It doesn't matter which way we go. We can go up for seven or down for seven. So go seven like this. And as you can see, we have some groups here, right? We have three here has an ethyl group. <coughs> I have three here as an ethyl, so I'll write three ethyl here. And then I have six as a methyl group here. And these are all the groups that exist in our, um, in our compound, so ethyl and methyl. So what we can write here is we can say that this structure here is going to be three, three ethyl, six methyl and then it's going to be hept and then it's going to be the one at two so hept two in or in, according to this uh iupac what they're going to write is we can write two heptane here right i just i tend to use the newer iupac but it doesn't really matter two heptane also works out as well and so it's either going to be a or b as our correct answers here so we will now want to figure out, okay, is it the E or Z uh, configuration for the isomers here? So let me erase this and we will look at the double bond here. So as you can see with this double bond, let me do this in a, in a different different uh, right, uh, color here. So we have a double bond here and I can assume that this here is a bond H, right? So if, in terms of my priority, which ones will have my priority here? I have these two. I have uh, basically um, this side, this side, this side, this side. I kind of have four sides to this double bond, so I can kind of put like a mirror, a dotted line here, representing the mirror here. And as you can see, I want to put priority in this compound here. This is a long chain here, so this one will have priority first, and this one will have my second priority. This one will have my third priority with the methyl and hydrogen as the last priority here, which is number four. So as you can see, the priority groups on are on the same side of the double bond, right? One and two on the same side. So this one, you can say this is a cis, confi cis configuration. Or you can say it is the Z isomer here, which is going to be on the same side. So I can write here that this here is going to be Z, three ethyl, six methyl, two heptene. And this one would be your answer. Or you could write cis three ethyl, six methyl, uh, two heptene. Doesn't really matter how you write this, but both of these are correct answers. But in this case, they want the E or the Z uh, um, naming. So we're gonna say that this is Z, three ethyl, six methyl, two heptene. And this is our answer here. And as you can see, this is the correct answer, Z, three ethyl, six methyl, two heptene. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis.